Hello, and welcome to Cloud Academy's course on Identity Federation on AWS. This course is designed to provide you the knowledge to understand what is Identity Federation, what are the features and functions of Identity Federation, how you can federate your login to the AWS console, how to centrally manage AWS console access with cross-account roles and directory services. This is not an introductory level course. This is an advanced topic for a specific purpose that should be taken after you are familiar with most of the features at AWS and have a good understanding of AWS identity and access management. Before we get too far along, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Tom Lynch and I will be your instructor for this course. I've been in the IT industry for over 30 years. I first began working in virtualized environments in 1996, but that was an IBM mainframe, so it was similar but different. I have been an active AWS consultant since late 2012 and earned my Solution Architect Associate in March of 2013, followed by my AWS Solution Architect Professional in November of 2015. The topics covered in this course are, what is Identity Federation as it relates to AWS console access, types of federation available to AWS, how to set up and use cross-account roles, how to use simple AD for IAM authorization with cross-account roles, concepts of SAML, how SAML could be used for AWS console authorization, concepts of web federation, Demo on cross-account roles for federation. Demo on simple AD for AWS authorization. I will distinguish two types of identity federation that AWS provides. Identity federation to your organization's identity store and identity federation to open ID providers. I will discuss how to federate open ID providers to an AWS account. I will first cover cross-account roles. This is a technique for one AWS account to access or manage another account's resources with authentication being processed in the first AWS account. I will discuss how to use Microsoft Active Directory as your central point for authentication with cross-account roles to a second AWS account. I will cover the concepts of SAML and how SAML can be used for authentication to the AWS console. And finally, I will discuss the use of web federation in a broader sense for authentication to your own applications. I will demonstrate how to set up cross-account roles between two AWS accounts using basic IAM authentication. And next and finally, I will show how to use AWS Simple AD as a central authentication source for continued console access with cross-account roles to grant access to the second AWS account. Since this is a more advanced course and a topic I'm suggesting, a few prerequisites should be completed prior to taking this course. You should review the identity and access management. Identity Federation on AWS is directly tied to IAM roles and IAM policy. It will be helpful to have an understanding of any enterprise identity technologies, such as Active Directory, LDAP, and some open identity providers such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, or Amazon. A good learning path that is helpful in this course is the Solution Architect Associate Certification for AWS here at Cloud Academy. 